Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add piercings. The first way I'm going to show you is how to just implement a picture of a piercing you have onto the picture. So, this is a really ugly looking piercing to me, but I don't know, it was a good example. I'm going to use the magic wand tool to select the white and just delete it. And free transform to the correct size. This is an old lady piercing. Huh. But yeah, I just kind of size it up. It's a little funky. I'd lower the opacity just a little bit. 85. You can also do uh, a filter. On this, I'm going to use Choose Filter Gallery, if it ever loads. Come on, load. Load, please. Load. Oh, there we go. Alright, um, Poster Edges is one I like to use, so I'm just mess with this a little bit. And then since it's a little too extreme, Edit Fade Filter Gallery, I'm just going to lower the opacity of that and it doesn't look that great you'd all obviously put some more work into different filters and such to get it to work but you can also bevel and emboss to make this look a little better um, that didn't work very good. This was just a horrible looking piercing, but drop shadow is one you'll definitely want to use for every piercing. You want to choose overlay, full opacity, zero distance. And that gives just a little bit of a shadow that blends in with the skin tone for it. But that's a horrible looking piercing. Obviously you can do this with any kind of piercing. That one just looked really, really bad. That was just an example. Um, the way I usually do it is I pick out this one, a really light gray for silver and pick out just a hard round brush on a new layer and click where I want the piercing to be. Drop shadow on overlay, full opacity, zero distance, and I just mess with the size a bit. Then bevel and emboss and contour. And I'm going to have to mess with the bevel and emboss settings a little bit. And then if it's a little too strong like this one, because the picture is a little soft, I'll lower the opacity a bit. No lower than 80% though. For this one, about 85. Seems to be the good number. And you can see, look decent. You can do circular you know, ring piercings the same way. Right click the rectangle marquee tool, the elliptical marquee, and I'll do a lip piercing. Click and drag and then right click stroke. Center, I'm going to do about two pixels. You have to mess around with the pixels depending on the picture. Deselect and do the same exact thing you did before. I'm actually going to right click copy layer style, right click paste layer style. And this one is actually going to need a little bit different bevel and emboss settings. And the drop shadow is going to have to be a little different. Okay. And then edit free transform to get the right shape. This is a little bit big, so I'm just going to shrink it a bit. And then because it doesn't blend in very well, I'm going to start where it would disappear like into the top lip would cover it and just start erasing. And that is about where it would go back into the skin. Now you can also make a layer under this, put it on overlay and get black. And just put, get a soft brush. Just put a little shadow 
where it's going into the skin. It'll blur it a bit. And that'll give you the illusion of that indent you get when a piercing goes into your skin. You can do the same thing for like a belly button type piercing. I'm just gonna get rid of that little shadow layer I made and drag this piercing over. Say like you're gonna put one on the collarbone. Those look really painful, but erase the middle where it'd be going into the skin and just get a circular hard brush and add, you know, balls at the end that was black. There we go, making them in silver. There you go. And that's how you can do something like a belly button piercing. You can also do this for the eyebrow. Edit free transform. I'm just going to move this over to the eyebrow. Double click. Just click on something else. Apply. There you go. Eyebrow piercing, you can do pretty much any piercing this way in any color. And for gauges, you can just copy and paste a picture like I did before. Or if you want one that has like a hole in the middle where it goes through, I'm going to use this one. Just get the eraser tool out and erase the middle of it. Go over to your picture layer. And this is like the shadow of the hair. Edit, copy, edit, paste. I'm going to drag this under that layer there, under the piercing layer. It's going to really quick erase around. And you'll want to intensify the shadow just a little bit. You can see how that gives the imp impression that um, there's like a circular gauge in the ear. You can see the hair behind it. 